We read in the Gospel of John chapter 14 verses 23 and 24. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who doesn't love me doesn't keep my word. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. Amen. Most of the time, obedience is a struggle. As our minds run through all the reasons that God's path is illogical. Fear dominates and our will battles to comply when everything within is screaming to run the other way. But obedience to the Lord's commandment is always the best choice because the Lord is trustworthy and full of love and wisdom. The sign that we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior is to trust and obey Him. When we practice these two commands, we receive within us His eternal life and love. Trusting the Lord makes obedience easier, and obedience produces ever-increasing trust. When the Lord calls us to a task that seems unreasonable, we have two options. We can obey Him even though we don't understand what will happen, or we can become fearful and attempt to find a way out. But Jesus told us that if we have strong faith in Him, we can move mountains in His name. The way we respond to God's challenging assignments reveals our level of commitment. We may feel as if we are right in step with Him until He proposes a change of direction. That's when our resistance kicks in and with it the realization that we aren't as close to Him as we thought. At that point, our decision determines whether the Lord would be able to use us as He desires or not. Jesus always points to our weakness of faith as the reason that we do not see His strong hands stretched to rescue us. Our unbelief is the cause of our disobedience. May we nourish our faith by trusting and obeying our Lord. May we trust in Him to renew our strengths every day. Amen.